think the most exciting thing for Cataclysm is really just the concept of changing the entire world like we did, um, you know, and just seeing how that kind of gets received with the fan base and see, you know, people kind of come back for sentimentality and really want to kind of see how these lands have changed that they fell in love with once before. The first glimpse we got into how people are going to respond to Cataclysm was really at BlizzCon when we announced it. And we showed some screenshots and video footage from some of the lands and how we changed them. We showed like before and after pics. And to kind of see, you know, the BlizzCon audience, which is the hardest core of our, our fan base, and just how emotional they got and how excited they were about it really kind of clued us into how people are going to probably start receiving this. From the very beginning, one of the things that we, we've kind of long wanted to do with World of Warcraft, like especially as we started working on Burning Crusade and we started working on Lich King, you know, we we would all reroll characters and kind of play through that old content and we just kind of always wished we could go back and change things and make things the way that we can make them now. You know, we have lots of technology now, we have lots of techniques, we have a lot more talented developers than we've ever had before and there was always that hope we'd be able to kind of go back and change things and bring things up to kind of the standards we now hold for ourselves. Whenever it's uh, time to add like whatever the major feature it's going to be, be it races or a new class or anything like that, people get pretty passionate on the team and really across the company. Um, this particular time, you know, it's definitely pretty passionate in that we knew from the beginning that we wanted to do goblins and there was really a lot of debate on how we should do goblins and should goblins be on one of the sides or should we maybe try to do them as a neutral race or how we want to do them. And, and there was also a lot of people I think on the team that felt like they're maybe a little bit too goofy. You know, like, do we really need to add another kind of gnome style race? So, you know, coming up with the Wargans really came on later, and it was really through just some of the, the art team really drawing some really cool concepts that really kind of gathered that momentum. I would say um, the most surprising thing to me now when, when I get to play whatever the newest expansion is, that I'm far enough away now that I don't get to play the content really in, through play tests. You know, I play it much later, you know, pretty close to the actual release. So it, I almost get to experience it almost like a player, which is really exciting to me, you know, being really involved in World of Warcraft early on and through the first couple expansions and, and now playing almost more like a player and like a fan. It, it's really been really fun. I think any time that you make an entertainment product or you make a fantasy world or anything like that, you're never going to expect a success like the level of World of Warcraft and certainly not expect people to fall in love with the lore and the world to the degree that they do. It's just something that I think we just take immense pride in the fact that you'll be able to create this world and we'll be able to really make it something that people care about and they do care about the lore and they do care about the storylines and the characters. Uh, launch day is, is always kind of an exciting day at the studio and especially on the dev team itself, you know, because I, I think um, it's a little bit different than it was in years past though because, you know, we wait so long now after we've kind of changed it, you know, we've gotten all the code locked down and we know what the game's going to be and then there's kind of this long wait. You know, like in years past, like I remember back during um, StarCraft, you know, it was on store shelves just like a couple days after we finished the game. So, you know, it really, you know, it was a, we had that gratification right afterwards. Now it's, it's like this delayed thing that happens and you're almost, it's almost a little more surreal. Like, is today really launch day? It's actually going out there? Because we've been done for a while and now it kind of goes out there and you get to really see the effect of the launch and really that excitement. I think when people pick up Cataclysm, they really need to decide what it is that they want to play first and where they want to go with it. I think a lot of players are probably going to take their existing character immediately to the level cap. And I think you're also going to see some players that, you know, want to be the first Worgen or the first Goblin of any particular class. For me, you know, I'm just going to be excited to try to get my flying mount so I can fly over all over the old world. I just want to say that after all these years, you know, I really hope that the fans that are still playing World of Warcraft really enjoy Cataclysm and really, you know, can see that the love that the development team has put into this product and see, you know, how much that we love this as much as the fans do.